we're going to keep solving some word problems. Remember, these are just puzzles or riddles. 18 more than the product of 7 and a number is 123. Find the number. All right, so we read through. What are we looking for? Oh, we're looking for a number. Okay, so let's start off with defining the number by using a variable like n. Now it says 18 more than the product of a number, I'm sorry, the product of 7 and a number is 123. Oh, the key word here is, is going to be the equal sign. That's going to break up what's on the left side of the equal side and the right side of the equal side. So nicely, the right side of the equal side is going to be easy. It's going to be 123. But what about on the left side? 18 more than the product of something. Gosh, 18 more. That means I'm going to add 18 to something. Okay, that's what it means. 18 more than something means you're going to start off with something and add 18 to it. What about this word product? What does that mean? Product. Product means multiply. So there's got to be two things to multiply. And the key here, it's the product of two numbers, something and something else. The key is 7 and the number. So those are the two things I'm multiplying together to get the product. So the product of 7 and a number is 7 times n, because we called the number n, so we have 7n. That's how you write 7 times n. So that's how we write 18 more than the product of 7 and a number. Anytime you're looking for the word product, you should usually find the word and, and that'll separate the two pieces. So we have 7n plus 18 is 123. All right, now we need to solve it. So let's subtract 18 from both sides. So we have 7n equals 105. And then we can divide both sides by 7 to get n is 15. So it looks like the number we're looking for is 15. So we would write the number is 15. But we're not sure it's right until we check it. So let's check it. It says 18 more than the product of, sev of a 7 and a number is 123. So before we could add 18 to it, we need to know what the product of 7 and the number is. And remember, the number is 15, we think. So what's 7 times 15? That's 105 so far. Okay, then what's it say to do? add 18. So let's say if we got 105 so far, what happens when I add 18 to it? I get 123. And so we're sort of checking to make sure it all makes sense given the words of the problem. Thirty more than the product of a number in 7 is 9. Find the number. So I have to read this carefully. 30 more than the product of a number in 7 is. All right, that is, in this case, is going to break up the equation into two parts. Keep that in mind. So we've got the part before the word is and the part after the word is. Now, we're looking for a number, so let's just write that down right away. We need a variable for the number. How about n? Okay? And we know we're getting an equation. So there's the equal. We know the right side's going to be 9 because that's the only thing on that side. What about the left side? 30 more than the product of a number in 7. 30 more than something means I have to have something and then add 30 to it. So I know I'm adding 30 to something. And what am I adding it to? I'm adding it to a product of a number in 7. So remember what product is. Product is going to be multiply. And so here's the and. That tells me the two parts. It's a number, right, a number, and 7. So those are the two things I'm multiplying together. Now the number is n, right? So what's the product of the number in 7? That would be 7n. So we have 7n plus 30 equals 9. Right, that's the hard part, writing the equation. Now let's solve it. Subtract 30 from both sides. So we have 7n 
equals, right, what's 9 minus 30? Well, you're adding a positive and a negative number if you want to think of it that way, so it's negative because there's more negatives, and 30 minus 9 is 21. So we have 7n equals negative 21. Now we can divide both sides by 7 to get n is negative 3. So it looks like the number is going to be negative 3, so we want to write that in words. The number is negative 3, but we want to make sure to go back to the original problem and check to make sure that makes sense. So let's check it. 30 more than the product of a number in 7 is 9. All right, so we've got to start off with the product of the number in 7. So if the number is negative 3, I'm going to do the number negative 3 times 7, and that gives you negative 21 so far, okay? Then what? We're going to take that number and add 30 to it, and what's that give you? 9, which is exactly what it said it was supposed to equal. So it's true that the number is negative 3. 20 less than twice the number is 14. What is the number? All right, let's start off by reading it and noticing what we're looking for. Again, we're looking for a number. I think of these as a bunch of puzzle problems. We're looking for some number. And now what? Let's try to write the equation. So remember the is that separates the two parts of the equation. So the first part would be 20 less than twice a number. The right-hand side will just be the number 14. So when we write our equation, we've got 14 on the right-hand side. That's going to be the easy part. Now what about the left-hand side? 20 less than twice a number. Okay, remember when it says 20 less than something, it means I'm going to take away 20 from something. So I'm taking away 20 from, from what? Twice a number. What does that mean, twice a number? That means two times the number. And if the number is n, twice the number will be 2n. So there's our equation again. Now let's solve. Add 20 to both sides to get the variables on the left and the constants on the right. So I have 2n is 34, and then divide both sides by 2. So n is 17. So it looks like the number is 17, so I'm hoping that's correct, but we will check it. Remember, you write your answer, though, not as n equals 17 right, because it doesn't say what's n. You're the one who introduced that number n, so your answer shouldn't have the number n. It should just either, you should either write 17 or write a sentence, the number is 17. Okay, so now let's check it. It says 20 less than twice the number. All right, the number is 17, so twice the number is 2 times 17. So first let's do 2 times 17, and we get 34. Okay, then we're going to do 20 less than that. That means I've got to take away 20 from that number right, which is 14. Now the way I'm doing this, I'm not saying that 2 times 17 is equal to 14. I'm just saying I'm writing 34, that I'm subtracting 20, and I get 14. Notice I don't go back to the original equation because I might have written the equation wrong.